High school basketball star Milan Woods is a leader. As a junior at Hathaway Brown, she led her high school to its first state title. Her senior year, she took her team to another state championship game. But this time around, at the most important game of her high school career, a big piece was missing. Milan's biggest cheerleader, the person she always looked to in the stands during games, couldn't be there. My dad always gives me the signals. He would like go like this, to tell me to be stronger. Yeah, I just tell her to be smart here. Yeah, I'm like, come on, be smart, you're okay. You know, our little signals like, okay, you're gonna be all right. Milan Woods and her father, Derek, share a special bond, a bond built on the basketball court. He'd always be the one rebounding for me, telling me to do this and do that. That's where we got to talk. That's where we got to, uh, to find out how our days were going. Midway through her senior season, Milan found it difficult to focus on basketball. Instead, her concerns grew over her father's health. At the beginning, we really didn't tell her how sick he was, um, but Milan is, is very intelligent. She knew something was going on. I would notice things like he would get out of breath making the bed in the morning. He would shave and be out of breath going up the stairs. She could tell that I was slowing down. Derek Woods was suffering from pulmonary fibrosis, a condition that causes the lungs to scar or thicken, making it difficult to breathe. A disease with no known cause and no cure. They can't tell you how it's gonna go. Some people stay the same forever, some people dip down. Just three months after his diagnosis, Derek's lungs began to fail. Doctors told the Woods family one thing would save his life, a double lung transplant. As Derek went into surgery, he once again gave his daughter guidance. He didn't ever want me to use him as an excuse of not playing well or not getting my work done. You know, I thought about, you know, you know, maybe I need to take a break from basketball, but he wouldn't have let me do it. He wanted me to battle through it, and you know, that's what I did for him. Two months after her father's surgery, Milan would take the court at the state championship game. Her father still recovering from his transplant. Hi, hello. Watch the game on TV from his hospital room. During pregame warm-ups, the girls wore t-shirts with a sign of support for Mr. Woods. When I saw him, I just can't put in the words, but that meant it. Just a simple t-shirt, but what it represented, it was just really nice. We kind of just wanted to do something just to let him know that, you know, even though he can't be there, he was still there in spirit with us. And once the game started, Milan was on a mission. She played different in this game than the other state games she normally played in. She played with a purpose for her dad and only her dad. Milan scored a game-high 16 points and led her team to victory. After the game, she sent her dad a message. I can't believe she just said that on TV, you know. I just almost passed out, I was crying so much. I think he's touched the hearts of about every one of the, uh, the players on my team, and, and he's definitely a huge reason why we won. For Milan Woods, basketball is what put her in the spotlight. It also became her escape. I'll kind of just come to the court and use that as a way to just take a deep breath, and it kind of made me realize that, you know, everything's gonna be okay. And now Milan's father can breathe deeply too. If you ask me, would I rather watch her in the state game or watch her grow into a, a beautiful, wonderful young woman? Well, of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the latter.